Welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this, you probably already watched the first episode where we are building a custom mini bike, which is really cool. And as you can tell from behind me in the big mess, we got a lot done in this episode. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. And yeah. Also, I hit my finger pretty good. You'll see that coming. Let's go through and see what we got. First thing is a new seat. It's gonna go somewhere around our new tires. They look to be exactly the same as the originals, which is good. Yeah, we're gonna try to put those on in a little bit. New bolt and nut. Also got the new bolt and nut for the front or rear axle, uh, whatever one is missing. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and try to get these tires off. Okay, this is making me pretty angry. It's just really hard to like keep it still because it's like I'm trying to stand on it and trying to stick the screwdrivers in it, try to get it over the lip, but it's just not working. So I'm gonna take a break from that and I'm gonna work on cutting new spacers out. I was gonna just gonna buy spacers, but they were like close to what like twelve dollars a piece just for like one that big, but I actually need some that like that big. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure them out and cut a couple for the front, cut one for the back, and it should be good. So I was trying to think of ways to get this thing on, and I decided to throw it in my vise and hold it still, and that worked really well, it took me like a minute. So I can go ahead and pump this tire up. This is actually the other tire I didn't even show putting it on, the other wheel. Um, that one's still over there. That one's I'm gonna do next. Hopefully it works just as well as this one. Uh, runs good. I have a slight problem with the throttle getting stuck, so it's a good thing my brakes work. But other than that, runs good. Not as fast as I would like it to be, but that's probably a good thing for how small it is. So let's go ahead and fix the throttle problem and then, yeah, play around with it. Uh, I moved up the uh, throttle cable and it's still getting stuck so I think it's something to do with up here and I'm probably just gonna order a new one anyway because you know this one is it's in rough shape it's it has so much play in it like that's not even like pulling on it at all so I'm gonna order another one of those I think they're only like 10 bucks they're not that super expensive um, but yeah I had my fun with it it's not super fast which is probably a good thing because I would probably wreck it <laughs> And with these other, when I, when I put the body thing on it, it's gonna, you're not gonna wanna go fast in it anyway, so. It's probably a good thing. Other than that, engine runs perfect. It starts up like right away. Like as soon as you get it going, it'll start up every single time. Yeah, brakes work really well, cause they needed to. All right, um, I'm gonna call it a day there because I kind of smashed my finger pretty good. 
whenever I was trying to seed the tires. And yeah, I, that ratchet thing popped and hit me pretty good. So my hand kind of hurts and you know, I just want to go take a break. Big win today, you know, I got it all running at least. So tomorrow I'm going to start cutting up the fenders and yeah, I think I have some extra scrap metal in the back. I just checked and I think I'll work really well with those because it came off of another Volkswagen. So <laughs> not that it matters, but, but yeah, we're going to try to get those fenders knocked out tomorrow or if not the next day. All right, cool. See you tomorrow. It's the next day and now it's time to start cutting these things in half. It doesn't look super straight, but I measured everything out right, like equal amount on each side of this, and it kind of looks kind of straight compared to that side, if that makes sense. I don't know, I really, it's hard to tell like what the middle line is of these fenders because it's way bigger in the front than in the back. So you kind of just have to go off of your eyesight. And I guess that the headline mount is like your most important thing you need to go off of. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it, and if I mess up, I mess up. As you can see, I got a little bit of a crack right there. I didn't measure right or something happened. Either way, I'm not too worried about it because I don't like how it comes to a point right here. I'd rather it be rounded out. So I'm probably gonna cut some of this off and rework some of the metal anyway. So, I mean, it's not too big of a deal. I mean, it's just extra work, but it's not something I can't fix. As for everything else, it all lined up pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and grind off this part and weld it on just so it stays together because I have it in a good spot right now. Um, I'm gonna have to trim up some of this a little bit. Where are you at? Right there. I'm gonna trim up some of that a little bit and then back in my uh, junkyard behind my garage, I have a old Volkswagen hood that's really messed up. It's not any good. So I'm going to go ahead and use that because I think it has the same like shape along this. So I think I can make a template and cut out of it and it'll be like the same thickness of metal. It should be at least. Yeah, you know, let's go ahead and go back there and take a look. Here's my junkyard. It's not near as big as Sam Cracks, but it's, it's pretty close. <laughs> at least he has running cars. Um, this is the hood I was talking about. You can see it's like pretty damaged up there. So I think I can make a piece out of that panel. I also got a, a roof up there I could use if I wanted to. I was gonna make a chop top bug and that project never happened because I bought a 1960 Euro bug that I didn't want to cut up because it was pretty rare. So I'm just saving that for another day, another project. You know, maybe I'll do it on the channel. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up that hood and set it outside and then we can go ahead and start welding up the fender. So actually my cut wasn't off at all. Um, there was a piece of metal stuck back here and I cut that off and it all just went in really flush. Yeah, it worked out really well. Yeah, I'll cut that out in like a smiley face pattern so this will bend up and hopefully meet up better so it makes more of a uniform line, I'm guessing is the right way to put it. I just don't like it going to a point because that doesn't look right. I want it to flow very round like everything else on this. So I'm gonna do that next. Actually, let me finish welding up that so it stops moving. 
and then I'll do that next. All right, we got almost it all welded up in the front at least. There's like a couple holes and stuff I can I can touch up with. Can you see it? All right, right there. Sorry, it's hard for me to point and face the camera too. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. I like. Sorry, I can't I can't fix this. All right. Yeah, you can see it right here. It's a lot better. It's not down to a point anymore. It's more rounded. All this feels pretty good. All this feels pretty good. This part here, I need to bang out a little bit, but that should be fine. Now I am going to, I got it adjusted to where I want it. So it's like even in the front and then the back, cause it was like separating. So I'm holding it together while I put the cardboard on, trace it out so I can go ahead and cut the hood that's outside. We got everything welded up, at least on the outside. Besides this hole, I'm kind of waiting because I might use that for the new steering, but I'm, yeah, I don't know. I fill that in later if not. Um, there is a lot of touch up work. I'm planning on welding the inside too, just for extra, <sighs> extra strength, but I'm tired of welding today. I'm all burnt up and yeah, I need to buy me a, a suit or something. Um, everything looks good. I don't know what I'm going to do with this right now because um, for Volkswagens, this comes off as a, uh, what is it called? Side skirt. No. Is it a side skirt? Yeah. Side skirt. And it comes off and it connects to the back. Uh, back. Uh, I can't talk right now. It comes off and connects to the back fender. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Anyways, let's go ahead and set it up next to the bug. I have, I know I'm gonna have to modify the bug a lot, like make the make it shorter, like in general. Yeah, let's just set it up next to the bug so you guys can see what I'm talking about. See, as you can tell, it's. I guess from that angle, it doesn't look that bad, but you can see it would hang out that much. And the front is like way off. So, my plan is. This is just for the seat, so I can go ahead and cut this right here and right here. That'll give us hopefully enough room to clear the back arch. Yeah, that should give us plenty of room to clear the back arch. And then up here is a little bit more tricky. See, I think I'm just gonna cut the forks off, keep the whole whole moving thing, whatever that's called, and move it back. I can probably heat up this down here and bend it up and attach it to here. Maybe lower the whole thing down a little bit and I'll move it all like a good 10 inches in. And that should give us plenty of room to clear everything in there. The other thing we have to worry about is the tire hitting the headlight housing. But let's go ahead and take off that rear seat and cut off the back and maybe take off the handlebars so we can set it on top of everything just to see what it looks like. So as you can tell by that last video, it's not fitting on at all. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the front forks. I got a sawzall, I can probably just zip it really quick. But look how cool that looks. Honestly, this could be a really cool bobber, like a little toy bobber kind of thing. Like, let's throw this. Like you buy one of these seats and throw it on here. Yeah, that could be really cool. It actually wouldn't be too hard to lower this thing too. Well, yeah. The forks would be kind of hard, but I mean, you just cut this off and move it up a little bit. I don't know, maybe a future project. I think it'll be a cool looking ride. Oh, let's just go ahead and cut off the forks. It's the next morning. We finally have light now. 
and I left this place just as messy as I did last night. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and just clean up this stuff by cutting it off. I mean, we're not gonna really, we're not gonna use that. We might end up using that again, so we'll cut it all flush. And yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, got it all cut off. Now, my plan is to go ahead and bend this up and maybe bend this part down a little bit too. Uh, I don't remember if I have any gas left to heat all that up, but we'll try it out. Um, probably wasn't the smartest thing to heat up that next to the gas tank. But no one ever really said I was smart, so <laughs> it worked. It lowered probably a good inch and a half, maybe two inches, which, cool. I'm going to try it down here, avoid the gas tank, and hopefully not blow myself up. Also, I'm going to put some gloves on because it was kind of scary touching that hot metal. That looks better. It's a lot shorter now. Now, the original, or the plan is to cut it along an angle right here so it lines up with the fork kind of straight down. So, if that makes any sense. I can just picture it in my head. It's just really hard for me to explain stuff most of the time, or all the time, really. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take, off, take apart this fork so I can clean all that up and get it ready to line up for the chop. I got the neck piece all cleaned up and grinded down. Unfortunately, we have another big problem. The problem we have is I lined it up so I can kind of judge where I need to, or where I would have to weld it in. And that's about the right angle for it. But when I put the fender on it, it still did not fit over it and I can't move this front tire back anymore. It's pretty much at its limit. But I can still do it. It's just I'm gonna have to cut up this back end too, which I don't wanna do, but that's what I have to do because I, <laughs> I have to fit that on there. That's the whole point. So I'm gonna have to probably shorten this about four inches. That would give us hopefully plenty of room. Like it was pretty close to fitting over it, but it was gonna rub a lot and the tire's gonna hit the bucket inside. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, I might just remove the engine, might as well. I'm gonna have to clean up this whole frame anyway and paint it, so. Take out the engine, take off the back tire again, and start cutting some more. But that's gonna have to wait for the next episode. I don't like making 20 long minute videos, and I don't even know how long this is gonna be, but it feels like it's, going on a long time. I don't like watching 20 minute videos, let alone making them. So yeah, we got a lot done. We got the whole fender made. We got a lot cut off of that thing. We got it running. I forgot that I actually drove it in the beginning of the episode. So yeah, next episode we're going to finish cutting up some stuff and go ahead and start welding on. And yeah, hopefully only a few more episodes left until we can actually call it finished. So. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, check out my Instagram if you want to. Yeah, I'm excited about this thing. It looks really cute right now. It's super small. Hopefully it's easy to drive. I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Hopefully we can get it done, like at least rolling again in the next episode. So stay tuned guys. It's coming soon.